What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be installing this dual USB port outlet for your Toyota RAV4. I'm going to show you how to actually install it right here in one of these blank spots you have here. And you're still going to retain this factory USB uh, port here. This one here gives you the dual, dual output and it's actually going to be a high speed charger. Which uh, pretty much what that means is it's going to be 3 amp instead of your uh, low powered USB here. So basically this is going to charge up your phone probably twice as fast. Okay, so it's pretty much a quick charger and you basically get two USB uh, outputs. So you and your you know passenger can charge your phones up uh, really, really fast um, at the same time. And this thing is pretty cool because it's only like $12 and uh, you know it was Amazon Prime and it has a built-in safety feature where it won't overcharge your phone which is really really cool and the biggest bonus to this thing is that it's 100 percent plug and play in your rav4 if you have a rav4 that looks like this um, it's 100 percent plug and play because basically it's going to take the power from your cigarette lighter and plug right into it and then it's going to repower your cigarette lighter which is pretty cool i'm going to show you how to do it real quick um, if you have any questions or want any more details on it um, i'll leave the link uh, in the description box down below uh, where you can get one of these and if you want to see all the details and all the paperwork on the charger itself um, just check that out um, but this video here is not really I'm not really going to demonstrate how the product works it's more like how to install it in your RAV4 um, it's pretty simple uh, really uh, the correct way to get this panel out because you need to take this panel out to be able to get to the cigarette lighter power into these little blank spots you have here is you need to pull the whole panel you need to pull the whole console actually out to actually get this out properly I'm going to show you how to kind of do it where you don't need to do that you take some of it apart you get this panel kind of out and you can still install this thing because this install you you know you will not need to cut any wires with this with this particular car it's pretty freaking cool but the the biggest challenge I think is, is as far as working on it is you need to get this piece out to get this piece out we're going to have to take this apart and your first step is is to go ahead and unscrew the shift knob here and it just actually just comes right off if you go counterclockwise i have the car running right now and you're going to put it in put it in reverse okay Load your console here open it up and you're going to end up pulling up this whole plate okay and nothing it's not screwed down at all you're just going to need to get something and pry it and get it up um, this piece here that goes around the E emergency brake is a separate piece. Okay, and I'll show you that here in a second. But if you can actually get your fingernails in here, you can actually start pulling this thing kind of up. Or get yourself one of these non marring tools, go out one of the corners, okay, actually start prying it up. It's just clips. And you can see here with well, somebody's already done that to this car. Um, using like a screwdriver, you probably want to use something like this, something plastic. But basically the whole piece just comes right up and then you can kind of separate this from it. It's just clipped on. It's really durable. Don't have to worry about breaking it. And there is going to be a harness that plugs into the indicator here. So be careful not to break that. You're going to need to unplug that. Basically just get this thing out of your way. All right. So there's my plug. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. There's just a little clip on the back side of it. Just unplug it. Get this whole thing out of my way. Super easy. Now I just want to get this out of my way. Basically, you just need to pull it towards you. Grab it here in one of these spots. Okay. And I kind of knocked it loose right there. You can get one of your tools. Help you out. Okay. So, yeah, it's just clipped on here. All right, so once you get that out of the way, what we're gonna do is we're gonna need to pry on this corner here, and you can kind of get it out. Now, it's not gonna come out all the way because to get it out all the way, you actually need to start taking apart the console even more. There's screws here, and all these side pieces need to come out. You're gonna have to take these bolts out of the back of the, the console and actually remove the whole thing before this thing will actually come out. But, you can do it without doing that get your tool stick it in the corner here and pry it loose okay just pull it back okay that's about all you're gonna get with this trim piece here on here like that you couldn't do that okay so the whole thing all this is just to get that trim off what you can do is you can pick one of these slots 
that you want to use uh, to stick your new charger in. Okay, all you gotta do is just pop it out. All right, you go to your cigarette lighter here and you're gonna unplug it. Unplug your cigarette lighter. Okay, it needs to have this white plug here. I'll go ahead and show you the product now. Right out of the box, here's your charger right here. Check it out. Okay, it has a little indicator ring around it that lights up uh, kind of like a bluish white and it lights up red. It lights up red when you charge your phone. And then here is your plug and play part right here. So what we're gonna do is unplug the cigarette lighter and it's gonna plug in here. And this is gonna plug back into your cigarette lighter and power your cigarette lighter. But before we do that, gotta run the wires through the hole to deal through the hole and hook it all up. It's that easy. Run this through here. And it does have a fuse here, which is pretty cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and warn you now that Toyota likes to make these blanks in two different sizes. And a lot of times what I've seen is people buy the wrong size. They buy the one that's too big. This is actually the smaller size. So, this thing fits in really tight, but it will go in gonna do is unplug this guy here I'm gonna need two hands to do that so I'm gonna have to cut the video let's unplug it nope and here's the plug here okay and then I'm gonna get my new USB and plug it in here and then this side is gonna go back into the lighter right there it plugs right in you can see how this thing lights up pretty freaking cool yeah so this thing's gonna charge your phone and half the time, this one will. Now, once you got it all, your lighter plugged back in, it just snaps. Everything snaps back together. And you can just push this guy all the way in. There you go. Again, if you want to, uh, you know, pick one of these up or you want to see more of the, you know, read some more of the information, the details on this guy, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Hope this video helped you out. And if it did, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. You guys take care, be safe. Have a great weekend.